Also, we're going to show you a video, and I'll talk about the, the time frame of it. Ms. Hurd took that on her iPad, um, and it was one day when she was in the, the, build, the, the kitchen with Mr. Depp, and it was February 10th, 2016, and he's on a tear, and he's going around, he's yelling at her. What happened? Being abusive to her. What happened? Bye. A pretty graphic one for you to see. And that monster would come out when he was drinking and, and when he would take the drugs. Amber will never forget the first event of abuse. She was sitting in his house in Sweetser on the sofa and he was across from her and he was talking about it and she laughed and he up and slapped her. And now you see the rings that Mr. Depp has on hurts when he slaps. And she was stunned. She, she had no idea. And she kept trying and she kept trying. She went to Al-Anon meetings. She went to therapists. She tried to do couples therapy. You'll, you'll hear about their tape recording sessions to try to resolve fights or de-escalate them so he wouldn't get mad at her for anything. Um, but you'll hear that he gets mad at her for all kinds of things. But she initiated fights. She started violence. He starts controlling what she wears. He starts looking at her lines when she tries out for places. He nixes any, any uh, romance scenes, sex scenes. While she's there, Johnny starts hitting Amber. Um, and Whitney ends up getting in between them, and Amber thinks that Johnny's going to throw her down, push her down the stairs because he's in that position. So Amber actually gets up and punches Johnny in the face. She'll tell you that's the only time she has ever laid one on him, you know, in a, a, an aggressive manner. But Always hitting him back as a point of pride, but admitted that she eventually initiated the hitting herself. Is the she you're referring to, Ms. Hurd? It is. You write, she reported trying to initiate a fight with him one night by slapping him when she was offended by what he said. Is the she you're referring to there, Ms. Hurd? Yes, it is. So fast forward to December 2015. That was one of the worst. Australia was pretty bad, but this one was even worse. In this particular occasion, he gets angry for some reason, and he starts dragging her by her hair through the apartment, uh, kicking her, punching her, uh, tearing her hair out. At one point, she gets up and looks at him, and he headbutts her, and she gets two black eyes from it. Then he goes and grabs, drags her up the stairs, puts her on the bed, puts his foot and knee in the back of her, and he continues to punch her, telling her he's fucking hating her and he's fucking gonna kill her. And he's got his boot stuck in the, the bed frame as he's doing it. And the force of what he's doing to her causes the bed frame to splinter. Now here's the ironic thing. The next day she's got, she's got to be on the James Corden show. And you can see the text messages. She's not sure if she can go. She's worried. She's got two black eyes. She's got a split lip. She's got bruising. She's got her hair missing. And my hand, and my face, <laughs> and then my hands. <laughs> <laughs> and then you could say. Well, let me show you this. This is what Amber carried in her purse for the entire relationship with Johnny Depp. She's an actor. Do you honestly think she would have left her apartment ever without makeup? Do you think that she ever would have wanted other people to see her bruises and her cuts? This was what she used. She became very adept at it. We're going to hear the testimony from Amber about how she had to mix the different colors for the different days of the bruises as they were as they developed in the different coloring and how she would use these to touch those up to be able to cover those.